First of all, I know it can be very annoying when bookmakers or betting sites give you bonus, but then you can withdraw it because of their terms and conditions guiding the bonus. And of course, it becomes much more interesting or annoying when you end up losing the whole money or the whole bonus in the process of trying to meet the requirement for the bonus. Of course, I know it is not all of you that care about losing such bonus or losing such money. I mean, it is free money, right? But wouldn't it be interesting if you can withdraw such bonus or at least part of such bonus? Anyways, like the title of this video says, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can easily meet some of these requirements and thereby withdrawing the money or the bonus. Hey, welcome. My name is Adiga Steven. Let me start by calling your attention to these two things. The first thing is, it is not all the money or bonus you will be able to withdraw. The amount or percentage you can withdraw totally depends on the terms and conditions guiding the bonus and we will get there in a bit. Now, the second thing is, the method discussed in this video cannot or are not applicable to all bookmakers bonuses out there. The reason is because each bookmaker has their own unique terms and conditions guiding their bonuses. That being said, in this video, I'm going to be discussing two types of bookmaker bonuses, how to meet their requirement and of course how to withdraw the bonus. And I'll be using two different accounts that already have this bonus in them to explain my point. The first type of bonuses we're going to be discussing is this type, whereby you need to stake the bonus on any odds of your choice but if the game wins, you will only be giving the total money won minus the amount you stake on the game. This means for instance if they give you let's say 10,000 Naira as bonus and you decided to stake it on an odd of 1.5, if the game ended up winning you will only be paid just 5,000 Naira which you can then withdraw. Bottybag gives this type of bonuses a lot and this is one example on how to get part of such money out. This account was given 30,000 Naira for a stake not return type of bonus, the one I just explained. Now when you are giving bonus of this nature, the first thing to do is to look for football games whose odd for home team to win is above 2.7, the odd for that same game to end in a draw should be above 3.0 and lastly the odd for that same game for a way team to win should be above 2.7. Once you've seen a game of that nature, download this arbitrage calculator or type three-way arbitrage calculator on Google. Click on this one and type the three odds here. However, I will be using this arbitrage calculator. So I will open it, click on these three ways, type the odd for home team to win here, type the odd for draw here, type the odd for their away team to win here, and lastly, type the total amount I was given as the bonus here. And to generate the amount you need to stake on each of the odds for you. Then log into your Spottybet account or any of the bookmakers that this type of bonus was given to you on and place or bet those amount accordingly all of course from the given bonus. In my case here, I was given 35,000 Naira. I went through the available games to get games whose odds meet this our criteria and I got this one. As you can see, the odd for home team to win is above 2.7, the odd for draw is above 3.0 and the odd for away team to win is also above 2.7. So this game is perfect for us. Next, open the arbitrage calculator, type the odds here and the amount I was given here as discussed earlier and these are the amount I need to stay corresponding to their odds. So I come to my Spottybet account and place those bets accordingly. We are to place this amount on home team to win. This amount on draw. And this amount on away team to win. All from the bonus account. I rounded them up for simplicity. Now we wait for the bet to settle after the match. Meanwhile, if away team wins, we'll be paid a total of this. However, if the game ends in the draw, we will be paid this. That being said, home team ended up winning the match and we were paid this amount. You see, they subtracted the amount we staked from the winning and giving us just the net profit. But then, now you can withdraw this amount. Remember I told you guys from the beginning that it is not all the money you will be able to withdraw or take out. We just sacrificed part of the money in order to withdraw the remaining part. And in this case, we sacrificed this amount out of the 35,000 Naira to be able to withdraw this amount. Which to me, it is better than losing the whole 35,000 Naira trying to meet their requirement and hoping you win money above this. Before we go to the second type of bonuses, let me quickly address this. To those who might be wondering, why can't we just use two ways type of market instead of using the three ways market? Well, because in this type of bonus terms and conditions, 
that won't pay you that much and this is what i mean in two ways event or market that has let's say exactly 50 50 percent chance of happening the highest odds you are going to get on each outcome will be around 1.92 on each if you stake the same amount on two of them, using the 35k for instance by staking half of it on each of the odds, at the end of the match, whichever one wins, you will be paid just 16,100 Naira instead of the 22,000 Naira plus you would have been paid by using the three-way market or approach. However, that three-way market approach is only best for type of bonus in which the stake is not returned with the winning. But in our next example, it is better for us to go with the two-way type of market or two-way type of event than the three-way event and this is what I mean. First of all, remember the method we use is determined by the terms and condition guiding the bonus. Now in this second example, this is the type of bonus we were given. In this case, our stake as well as the winning will be paid to us. However, they say we must bet it on a minimum of 1.2 odds, stake a minimum of 5,000 Naira to be able to apply it and that we can't bet it on a multiple or accumulator bet which is perfect for us anyways. In this type of bonus, you are going to be playing it like an arbitrage game whereby you will play let's say under 2.5 and then you will hedge it by playing over 2.5. It is that simple. Anyways, this is what I mean. They said we must take a minimum of 5,000 Naira and on a minimum of 1.2 odd. So we will first look for a game that can give us small house edge, preferably under 4% house edge. And in case you are curious as to how do you get to know games with small house edge, where well, most of the top leagues matches how small house edge is. However, you can be typing the two ways odds here until you get a game with small house edge that is around or between minus 4% to 0%. Using this bonus for example, I got a game with this odd for over 1.5 at end spot and this for under 1.5 at spotty bet. I am using spotty bet to place the under 1.5 part because the under 1.5 odd is higher thus reducing the house edge. You can do the over 1.5 on end spot and the under 1.5 also on end spot if you want. The goal is just to make sure this red number here is between minus 4% and 0 and you are good to go if you get that. That being said, I will click the two way here, you can still use Google if you want. I will click the two way here, write the over 1.5 odd here and the under 1.5 odd here. Since I need to stake a minimum of 5000 Naira on a minimum of 1.2 or to be able to apply the bonus at end spot. I will type the 5000 error here for this odd and the calculator will generate the amount I need to stake on the under 1.5 and the total amount I need to deposit here. So I will deposit this amount. I am supposed to deposit all of this in my end spot but since I will be playing the under 1.5 as potty bet, it means I will deposit this amount that I am supposed to bet on the under 1.5 as potty bet and go bet it there. After that I will deposit this 5000 error in my end spot account, place the 5k on this odd. So I type the 5k here and this option will become available. I click on it, use or apply it and submit the bet thereafter. Remember, since we use the bonus as part of the 5000 error for the staking, we were still left with this in the end spot account. Next, we we'll go back to spotty bet and stake this as given to us by the calculator on the under 1.5 to make sure we are winning regardless of whatever the outcome of the match is. Anyways, the match ended in over 1.5 meaning the bet at end spot is the one that won. We log into our end spot account. As you can see here, our account balance is now this. If you subtract the total money we deposited on both Spotty bet and end spot account from this that leaves us with this amount. Meanwhile, we were given 3000 error as the bonus. If you subtract this remaining balance from that 3000 error bonus we were given, that gives us this, meaning we lost or sacrificed this amount of that 3000 error in order to be able to withdraw the remaining this of that 3000 error. If you ask me, I'd rather lose this out of the 3000 error and withdraw this rather than losing the entire 3000 error. On the name of trying to meet M Sport terms and condition or hoping I hit it really By the way, let me quickly ship in this. The Spotty Bet bonus can also be used in Instant Virtual in case you can't wait the whole day for the game to settle. You can just use the Instant Virtual to get the money out instantly using the same approach as just discussed earlier on. The only problem is that we are likely not going to find odds that fall within this range as mentioned earlier. Nonetheless, you can look for the closest ones. This is a typical example of what I'm talking about. This one I was given 21,800. I visited the instant virtual section, looked for games whose odds 
of 1s2 market is closer to this i found this one i open my arbitrage calculator type in the odds accordingly and the total amount i was given here and it generates the amount i need to stake on each odds i went back and started staking the money accordingly as given by the calculator remember in this case of instant virtual you need to place all the bets before clicking on kick off after placing all the three bets i click on kick off you can click on skip to result if you don't have seconds to spare anyways at the end of the instant match a wait team won and that means we will now be able to withdraw this of that 21,800 and had sacrificed the remaining part for this. However, if we have used rematch instead of this instant virtual football, we would have ended up with slightly higher amount to be withdrawn than this. Which to me it is still reasonable enough than to lose everything in the process of hoping to withdraw everything or in the process of trying to meet the attempts and condition and then in the process losing everything. Anyways, that's all I have to say for now. Thanks for watching and bye for now. <laughs>